What makes us unique is uh, we're truly integrated design build. What that means is you can come to our firm and uh, have the same team take you from architecture design to interior design to landscape design and then all the way through to construction. Mm -hmm. Now that's important to clients uh, because they are working with one team. Uh, what they've dreamed up in the beginning with our team, you know, their requirements, their lifestyles, all of that stuff, mm -hmm. that gets captured right from the beginning and then we take it through to the different design stages, uh, help with the city permit and then build it properly. So none of the um, vision is lost. So I'm really thankful that we're actually outside of one of your homes. This is actually Eric Lee's home and uh, Maybe like I, I see that it's very unique and it's different from the typical home. Maybe you can give us some uh, uh, some of your what was your design inspiration for for creating designing the exterior of your home? Sure, um, you know. Designing for myself is always hard. Mm -hmm. uh, being a designer, I like many different styles. Um, mm -hmm. So to say that I gotta pick one, that's always the hardest. Yeah. Um, what I have noticed in Vancouver is there's definitely a um, resurgence of the traditional architecture design. Um, you know, this home, uh, what I did was I started with a French uh, chateau, French country type of palette mm -hmm. um, as a foundation for the architecture and then but what I wanted to do was add in that kind of modern aesthetic. So you'll see that the form itself is a French country form, but um, I use white brick. Um, just white washing that brick really helps to uh, clean up and give that crisp modern feeling to it. Uh, Contrast it against black windows, um, a very strong punch to it. Um, the entryway is always important, um, and the entryway is what really makes a statement of luxury and in this home what I did was I did custom cast or uh, custom carved limestone uh, entry and that really becomes that focal point uh, at the front of the house. Okay so like when you say whitewashed bricks um, what does that really mean? The, the way of doing it is uh, we use uh, we source and use reclaimed bricks so it's got that very age-old um, you know rustic edge to it uh, we install like, like normal bricks, but what we did after that is then we spray painted the whole facade mm -hmm. um, white and essentially that gives a very subtle, uh, subtle texture. There's still the texture of the brick and the grout lines, but it doesn't have the red with the gray grout. It's yeah. all white. So that's what we call whitewashed. Okay. I, I see that it's uh, the, the plants, even the plants itself are not the typical Home Depot plants. And yeah, with, with this house, of course, because we're integrated, we have landscape design services uh, in our umbrella. So uh, this was professionally landscape designed with our team. Mm -hmm. um, you know, every species is selected. The landscape lighting is carefully selected and aimed at highlights. This tree, for instance, in the evening will get lit up and really that's what makes that street appeal, that curb appeal and really sets the house apart. Great, great. So why don't we take a closer look at the exterior of the house? Sure. So Gary, what we have here is um, a custom carved limestone entry. Mm -hmm. And the thing that sets luxury homes apart versus standard is we really don't cut any corners. Uh, if you look at this limestone, it's a full two and a half inch thick at the base and inch and a quarter thick here. What a lot of people will do um, to cut costs and more of the standard home is even if they use stone of some kind, they actually make it really thin, like half inch or three quarter inch. Mm -hmm. and from the street, you might not notice it, but then when you come up and you really look at the edge of that limestone, you can really tell that someone cut corners here. So, you know, that's one of the key things that, that we are very cognizant of um, to set ourselves apart, is to really make the materials authentic and, and true to its luxury form. Mm. Another thing uh, that I talked about is the yeah. windows. So the windows for this house, what we've uh, done here is really went all out. It's a premium window. Um, it's a wood window, which gives you the warmth inside. And also it's paintable and stainable inside. But then on the exterior, we've clad it with aluminum. And that's probably the most luxurious way to do windows. So you get the best of both worlds. So what would an average builder be using? Average uh, homes will use vinyl windows. Um, okay. You know, and it's, there's nothing wrong with vinyl windows. It's just 
a step apart and is not the same class. Okay. Yeah. So uh, with these windows, uh, the benefit of having aluminum outside is that you get that weather resistance. You never have to worry about that window again. Uh, the other thing I wanted to point out is uh, between the top two windows, there's a mid panel. And what I've designed there is a black infill panel. And you may not be able to see it, but it's actually aluminum also instead of wood. Typically, a detail like that could be done out of wood, and a lot of people do. I bet you 99% of people do. Um, the disadvantage of making it out of wood is wood will shrink and, and um, uh, shrink and expand with weather. So over time, the little molding around the edge, that will start to shrink and you'll start to see the painted edges and then water will uh, infiltrate and it will rot the wood. Mm. So it's not a durable long-term material. So we've chosen to make that out of aluminum panel and you never have to worry about it again because wow. aluminum doesn't weather. It's definitely more costly than the wood. It is, it is. But you know, um, what we're about is durability and yeah. the details. It's important. Yes. Once you build a luxury home, you need to get to that level. Great. I noticed here your door is very unique. It's different from the typical home. Can you explain, uh, tell me a little bit about it? Yeah. Um, you know, a front door is very important uh, for a home. It's that uh, first impression that your guest gets when they walk up to the front door. Um, so we make a lot of uh, uh, importance to that. This door itself is, uh, has taken on the traditional French form with the uh, arch top. On the side light and the uh, front door, it's extra wide. It's 42 inches wide. Mm. Um, the other thing uh, is I brought in that French uh, character with the wrought iron design. Mm. Um, this motif, I've also brought that into the uh, driveway gate. So, so it just to tie it together. Mm. Yeah. Um, the other thing about this door is just the uh, quality of construction. And it's something that you have to experience. You can't really see it. Um, but I'll try my best to explain it to you. Sure. The front door handle, when you feel it, it's nice and solid. Yeah. Um, the door itself is actually a full two and three quarter inch thick. So it's wow. extra thick. And as you can see here, uh, there's actually not just one point for the deadlock. Oh. Uh, there's one, two, and three. So we call this multi-point. Mm -hmm. And there's a real benefit to that. Um, for one, it's security. You know, a lot of the home burglars, when they break into a door, they kick the middle part where the deadlock is and it, it's, uh, it's open. With a multi-point, it's very secure. So yeah. you can't just kick down a multi-point door anymore. Mm -hmm. The other thing is uh, with multi-point, it gives you a much better uh, air seal mm -hmm. because now instead of pulling at one point to the frame, you're pulling at three points. So the wind um, infiltration is not that strong. Mm. And, and that's what you really get with this. Yeah, it's very solid. And you said this was two and three quarter inch thick? Yeah, so uh, in comparison to a standard home, for yeah. instance, uh, you know, the standard front door is inch and three quarter. Mm -hmm. So we're an extra inch thicker. And that's the kind of craftsmanship that you feel when you walk through a door. Okay. Okay. And I also noticed that you have a, a very unique doorbell. Um, looks like in something that like the uh, smart automation, um, luxury home builders use. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about it? Yeah, there's, uh, there's a lot of automation in this home. Um, this, this front doorbell is called the iRing. It's a fairly new product and it's, uh, we call it the smart uh, device because it actually connects to the Wi-Fi. So if someone comes up to your door and presses the doorbell, the doorbell inside the house rings. Yeah. But then you can also route it to any mobile phone or device that you want. So I would get it, my wife would have a notification, and if we're out, the great thing about that is we can see the camera, it'll come on. We can interact with voice uh, through this. So the big benefit about that is security. Because you know, if someone is coming up at your door and let's say they're, they're trying to see who's home before they break into the house, yeah. now they actually think that's one's home because you're answering on your mobile mm. phone. You can be in Hawaii sitting on, you know, on, a, on a beach or something and you can still just say, oh yeah, I'm in the shower, come back or something. Ah. So now they won't attempt to break into your home. Smart. Yeah, the other thing is uh, couriers. You can tell them to leave uh, the package at the door. You don't really have to open it. So there's a lot of benefits to having and there's a... There's a camera on there, too. There is, yeah. So, so that's, that's what you see. So you can actually see who is ringing the doorbell on your mobile phone. That's right, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So it's very convenient and very safe. 